Hello guys. This is going to be the first time painting in my new studio. And I'm gonna try something a little bit different today because this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I pulled um, all the pinks that I could find and I figured I'm gonna do a little bit of each. And in between, I'm gonna put some of my plum purple colors um, just to break it up a little bit, but it's going to be mostly all pinks. So we have those two in here. I'm going to go for a nice, this one's a neon pink, which is actually really stunning against this black background. I've used neon and black before, and I really like them as a color combo. This is a little bit dirty. There we go. Um, there we go. I'm gonna put a little extra of that one in because I like that. And then I have just a little bit of this rose zur, not much, but um, I'll use what little bit left I have of that. And then I'm not sure which pink this one is. It's one of the rose colors. So I'm gonna stick this in here. And then we're gonna come in here with a little bit of this um, Primal Flow. These I always have to shake extra good. So even though I shook all of this um, really well last night, I'll do this again. This is the plum color. So again, just a little something to show it different, um, different kind of color in there. And that seems a little thick. Their paints are normally thick. So let's see, that was a darker color. So I'm gonna come in here with my lighter pink. Shake it just a little more. Uh, there we go. That's looking much better. And then we're going to come in here with our darkest pink. And finally, last but not least, I have another pink. This one is fluorescent pink. And it'll be perfect to put on top of the thicker paint because this one's a little bit thinner. Good. And it does not want to come out. Uh, I still don't have everything together in my studio. It's probably going to take me another month. I'll probably still be working on getting my studio ready past Christmas, but at least I have something to work towards. And I know I'm gonna have to do a little bit extra to get all the air bubbles out of this, and this just does not want to come out. So, more than one way to skin a cat. There we go. And I might just come in here with a few of these for a second time. And that's the last of my bubblegum pink from Christina. Just about there's a hair left in there. Uh, and I'll put the uh, Parage Posse purple in there. Just a little. And I'll come back in here. And of course, this cap always, always gets cruddy. I don't know why, but it does. And I'll come back in here with some neon pink, and that should be plenty to get what I want done. Now, I'm gonna take my little 
uh, actually I should take something just slightly thicker than that. I'm gonna take a little popsicle stick here and just give this a couple of turns. Three should be enough. And I'm gonna try doing a ribbon. Uh, sort of like the breast cancer symbol. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Not too bad. I'll have some extra paint left over. So I'm gonna take, uh, first take my torch. And just kinda go over this. see one area here that's just not very thick. Come back in and do back over and around. There. I like that much better. Gives it definitely a little more interest. And then I'm going to come in here with my air gun. We can blow out just a few little tendrils, just a little wisp here and there. It's also moving some of these colors around nicely. So, I knew some of these pinks would be color against black. This one is not as powerful as my normal air gun, but I have not brought my normal air gun back up yet and got it set up. So, I'm working with sort of temporary equipment for. At least, not all of my equipment, we'll put it that way. the other side came out. I wish I could get this one to do a little bit more of that. Just a tiny bit of paint left over. Um, 
Um, let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, didn't do so good on that side. blown out. It's still pink and I think I'll add just a touch of this to these guys. I like this sort of neon pink. Gives it a little bit more pop. Let's see if I can mess this up a little bit more. <laughs> that came out okay. This came out like, like I was high or something. I don't know. It does not look right, but well, see if we can blow it out and get something out of it. I'm not going to be happy with this side at all. Not at all. So. Okay, there we go. Okay, now. Blow it out. To be some sort of a circle or something. Silly cat knocked my air compressor over. If she keeps it up, she's gonna knock my whole thing over. All right, well, I'm gonna call this one done. Um, 
it's kind of close to what I wanted. Um, I wanted something more for Breast Cancer Month, but I think that this will do. Anyway, have a good one, and I hope you guys liked my first painting in my new studio. Take care, y'all. Remember, it's only paint. You can just keep putting more paint on it or scrape the whole thing. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.